Hi guys, it's Lorna, welcome back to my channel. So I said I wouldn't do any shopping anymore, um, perhaps till January. I failed, uh, obviously. Um, I have some reason I did some little sales on Vinted like I was telling you uh, the last time. So I could afford a bit to buy some new clothes and they're all from the same brand I would say so this time I will talk about Romwe um, so they also sell some Shein stuff or Shein also sell some Romwe um, items so I don't really know I think they're all the same Chinese brand you know um, so I bought a bit on uh, vinted some of those clothes I checked before if you know because sometimes when you buy secondhand it's weirdly more expensive than when you buy from the Chinese website um, of course I think perhaps you know some collection don't exist anymore so maybe that's why also and I don't know if on Depop it's the same but on vinted sometimes the girls just put some expensive prices like more than it used to be um don't know why they try to make a bit of a benefit um on it but anyway so i checked uh, if those dresses were still on romoy uh, or she in and it wasn't so like i digged a lot just to just to check i know it's kind of better even if it's more expensive it will be better to buy from something from France than uh, to export it from you know um, or import it from um, China yeah I think it's China yeah I think Xi'an and everything like it I think it's China anyway so um, I checked before but no they weren't they were not um, available anymore so I bought some from Vinted um, that I use with my little wallet Vinted wallet you know and um, I also did a tiny bit of an order from Romwe and this is because of the four times PayPal you can pay like four times on PayPal now so um, on some on some website and Romwe it worked so I'm like you know it's like 10 euro every every month now <laughs> it's really stupid it's just I could not afford like a 40 euro order right now so I was like I could afford a 10 euro perhaps so let's say the 30 euro will be uh, de delayed you know so anyway that's um, financial uh, related because the last time I said no I'm not gonna do that well I did it and I think you will like it I do a lot I do love those dresses so I'm gonna show you right away I do not order only dresses I also order so on uh, Romwe um, some other items so I bought two cushion like this um, well the inside is mine but just this part and it's not that pretty as it was on the website I know it would have been something like super cheap and fun and you know Halloween section so I did not expect a lot from it but it's kind of less pretty that I thought it would be but anyway I think it's it's cute it's kind of the goth vibe I wanted for my uh, bedroom could have been better but for now that's just fine I, th I thought it was only I, I thought it was fun and it was like pff, perhaps 150 250 um I bought two like this so not really expensive as usual on those websites I also bought some lingerie so I'm just gonna show you like the top and i um, not gonna show you on me because I don't want to but still you can you can imagine a bit anyway I'm just gonna show you like this so this is the bra I think it is really really cute so as you can see it's transparent oh, that's also why I, I would not um, show you on myself but still it's kind of you know i like the details like this it was really um comfortable yeah i already worn it so i can i can tell you about it and it was comfortable it has like it yeah it was really light and and i didn't feel like it was all falling down so that's fine and i like the little details web um yeah the little web design like this and i also love this little detail I, when i was wearing it so i thought i was like wearing a necklace or something and i really like it to have like an accessory 
underneath my dress, you know, so I think this one was really nice and it was, I think the set was six euro, something like this. Then I'm gonna show you the dresses. They are adorable, I just love them. So let's start with this one. So it looks like this. This I'm gonna show you on a try on. I really love the, I love the velvet. Um, so let's just check it a bit more closely. So this is kind of the detail that is a bit weird on, you know, Romwe. I don't know if you can see, but see the little button there? I don't know why they put some black thread. There's a thread coming out. Um, they just, you know, they just prepared the order. Nobody saw that. This was like coming out of it. I don't know. It's it's really weird. I guess the workers are really tired, so I'm not going to blame them. But it's just, you know, can you pay for something? You want something without any little thread that you're going to cut. I don't know. Um, I am kind of a bit disappointed about the... I don't know, the fabric is like super, super cheap because you can see already that it is, I don't know how to say it, the white will be yellow really, really soon. So I'm not sure if it's a fabric or it's just because it's a white color and I didn't have any dresses with a white color in for a long time. So perhaps that's just it. But I had it, I don't know, for a week now and the white isn't that white anymore. I just put it on the hanger. I like my dresser is like all open, so you can, so everything is, you know, like the little dust is coming on it. So I'm not sure it's gonna really stay good longer. But uh, anyway, it's really a nice dress. And the bottom is like this. I don't know if you can see, the bottom is like this. Um, it has some little details on the, sleeves like this i like the little button like this it's really really nice the zipper is in the back um i'm gonna try it and i'll show you on a video that will be better but the thing that i noticed on those um dresses from romwe it's that the so it's really nice it's a really nice and comfortable uh velvet inside it looks like this it's really really light and warm at the same time it's just that they put the velvet backward i don't know how to say it's supposed when you want to touch the velvet you will do something like this you know but this is backwards you have to do something like this so it's you know soft so if you don't like velvet well Obviously, I don't think you will buy some velvet clothes, but still, um, it's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's a bit weird. I, I, um, when you touch velvet, it's supposed to be this way, not this way, I don't know. It's, for me, it doesn't make any sense <laughs> anyway. Then we have this one. This one was one of the um, second hand. So I'm not gonna close it right away. Um, gonna try it on and you will see um this i did some photos with it from for instagram so you might have seen it already uh, it really has a cute uh, skater shape and i really like it um i think it's somehow flattering i used not to like this shape but on this one i don't know it really makes a good uh neckline also because of the little opening there and I think it's really, really cute. So let me show you a bit more of the color. Um, I love the little brooch that goes with it like this. See? Oh my God, this is so, so pretty. I was, I was afraid that the girl would, uh, you know, keep this because this is a really nice accessory, but uh, she left it on, on it. So I'm really happy about this. And I like the little sleeves like this and the end are like this. It's super cute. It's a good quality. I mean, still the velvet is backward, <laughs> but it's a it's a nice quality. I, I feel like I don't have something, you know, too light and without any shape. It, it stays well, so that's that's good. 
Then we have this one that I tried already. Uh, we'll still show you on camera. Um, this is a dupe. I don't know if you know it, but this is clearly a dupe from uh, Kirtstar. Uh, I don't know the name. I think I will find it for you. Maybe write it down. But yeah, this is Adina. No, not Adina. Inida. Something kind of Nida something. <laughs> um, and... You can definitely tell that it's not as good as Kirtstar, but it's really, really similar. Like they really copied the design and this was like perhaps 16 euros, something like this. I had a discount, so I don't know. Um, and I just, I just love how it is. It is really preppy, really, I don't know, it's, it feels a bit childish, but still really goth with the big sleeves like this. You have really big butt sleeves. Um, this is a bit tightened at the waist, but not really, not really skater. It's a bit more, you know, it's mid-dress, uh, I don't know, mid-lent. And um, I can say that if you put a petticoat under it, it's a bit more vintage. Yeah, it clearly can be a bit more vintage. I like the bow too. Um, the color is kind of uh, thick. I don't know if you can see. So when I wore a coat uh, above it, the last time I just checked on in the mirror and I was like a bit like the coat, the color was, you know, going out. So um, if you buy this one, just, you know, just be careful because it, it's, it's really long in a way that it goes out of your jacket. It feels a bit stupid, <laughs> but uh, anyway, so that was, um, that was this one. And I have a last one. The last one is like this. And I am so, so excited because I am going to shoot, I'm going to do a photo shoot with it. And this one is just so pretty. This one is secondhand too. So this is uh, Shein, has the zipper in the back, still some button like this, but this one feels, the velvet is backwards, um, feels a bit, I don't know, a bit more heavy and, and I don't know, it feels a bit more elegant than this one, which is really childish and kind of, yeah, a badly made a Kirsten dress, I think, but still, I still like it. It's really, really pretty. Uh, the sleeves are really simple like this. It's a long dress. It doesn't have anything at the bottom of the dress. It's super simple. This one is super simple. And I took everything, I think, in size L. Yeah, it's size L. So they say it's Europe 40, 42. I lost a bit of weight uh, again lately uh, with my second COVID. <laughs> so I don't know. I kind of am okay in a 40. Um, although I know that this is stretch, you know, so I think it will be a bit too big for a 40. So I'm kind of a 42, but that's fine for me not to take 42 anymore in those Chinese brands, you know, so clearly I think a real 42, but uh, 40 is okay for me for this. So those dresses are all uh, size 40. Um, so I'm going to film the try on and I'm going to get back to you. Um, oh, sorry for my hair. Uh, then we have this one. I love the, the shape. I think it, I think if it was longer, it will be too, none you know <laughs> i don't know it will be a bit too boring so i really like that it's a bit short i think with high dr martins will be really really good uh, i didn't close uh, the sleeves but you can see that it's a bit it's a bit puffy like this just there and uh yeah i don't know there's some kind of material uh, i don't know perhaps it's because it's not iron but i don't want to use my iron is is a bit um i don't know it just stay in my clothes so i don't use my iron anymore for um my clothes on me for my sheets <laughs> yeah i iron my bed sheets anyway um this is kind of an autistic thing i think <laughs> uh, i really like it yeah it's it's super pretty this is really the look i wanted whoa anyway um for this dress so that's fine zipper going also up to the back like this um and i also really like this detail i think it's really really pretty 
and still here it really is the same shape uh, every time so it's really what suits me I think it's flattering for my breast area and also creates a bit more of hips that I don't really have I have some hips but I don't know it's uh, it's a bit like those kind of hips <laughs> you know so I think it's really flattering for some uh, shape body shape like mine so if you are well I think this fits so yeah that is it this is also one of my favorite I, I cannot choose it's it's too beautiful so kind of the same length just a bit shorter perhaps really fitted here so that's really really pretty I feel so comfortable you cannot imagine how you know comfy and warm and I don't know I feel like the inside is really good just to have a bit of you know um, velvet from there but inside all soft and smooth and but then the inside of the 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 end of the the sleeve is uh, velvet too so I just have the velvet there and then it's it's really comfortable when you know just uh, just not velvety from the inside I don't know if that makes sense it's really really nice um, yeah so the brooch is like this so I kept the brooch pinned in and I just closed it with a little button which are there because uh, doing the bridge or just there is kind of kind of dangerous a bit so that's it um, yeah really love it there's no zipper so it's all stretch and everything you need to perhaps do your hair after because <laughs> otherwise ta -da! <laughs> so yeah that's it like it so this is the childish dress I was talking about I love the shape I really think this is a really nice shape um, I don't feel too exposed <laughs> so that's fine because if, if I pick up a box no that's fine <laughs> um, when I'm working I mean <laughs> uh, yeah I like the color so this is what I was talking about like I don't know it stayed a bit up which is kind of really kind of like it it's a bit like a bit vampire but um, was a bit stupid when my coat the other day so let's put it like this um the bow also is really nice and those sleeves it's feels a bit cheap you know as it's not with uh lace or anything it feels a bit like hello i have my dress from a you know fancy costume store uh but still i like it i i think it's it doesn't really look ridiculous on me so that's fine just love this one I think it's one of my favorite I love how the sleeves are really close to my arm like this I think this is so so pretty and also this is I think this color it will be less uh, grayish you know with time uh, than the other one so this is really good and the buttons oh my god the buttons are beautiful so it's a bit long like this and it's good <laughs> I feel really small to do <laughs> close to the door. Um, this is good also because I didn't have um, so the other dresses are really short and I know that sometimes in winter I don't know I come back I come back home and it's kind of dark and I don't really like to have my I already talked about it my legs really showing uh, so this is really good. Uh, yes, I didn't zip it up to to the top but anyways so this is it so i hope you like it i love those dresses i can't wait to do more and more photos with them um i think perhaps my instagram will be like really repetitive this winter because i am considering buying like the same dress over and over so I hope it will be not a bit too boring, but I don't care because I like those kind of, you know, aesthetics. So I'm very happy. Plus I have the the last, like my last orders from Kitstown from last year. Um, I remember that, I think that was last year that I did my first Kitstown order and I was very happy to start to get all the dresses I always wanted um, and they are still in the same, 
kind of design so I have like my yeah my dresses more and more all black dresses like I used to have some black dresses then I have like some really um, printed top or you know some really vintage and a lot of prints uh, but now it's more and more yes I still have a bit of cheetah print <laughs> but um, it's more and more velvet like this this is also why I'm completely desperate in summer what can I how do you do in summer I have a, so I have a lot of little black cotton t-shirt dress uh, for summer but really i feel like i'm losing my flow and i'm losing i don't know like all my style in summer and it feels so so good to be in autumn again so i could i could glow and i think perhaps you know what i mean like really in summer how do you how can you be comfortable in your aesthetic when it's like Ugh, you're melting like I can't even wear makeup I don't know what to wear as clothes so no I'm definitely happy and will be a bit more happy in winter because I could put my big coats back so that was it thank you again for watching until the end and I'll see you in my next video peace